Hey, what's going on, gang? In this video, what I'm going to end up doing is showing you how you can be able to download the indicators on our Discord server based off of uh, your overall package. Remember, if you're part of the elite, you end up getting expert advisors and you end up getting indicators uh, two times out of the week uh, that will end up being new so you can be able to download that at your leisure. So let's go through and let's show you how to be able to download it and how to be able to install it on your charts so you can be able to use it. So let's say we end up going into this link and we end up seeing that we have the ribbon indicator that we want to be able to download. What you have to do is be able to click onto this link. Once you end up clicking onto this link, it'll actually end up showing again your file. What you will do is click on open file. Once you end up clicking on open file, what you will end up doing is just right clicking and then clicking on copy. Once you go to your MetaTrader terminal uh, from there, what you will end up doing is that you will click on file. Once you click on file, you will end up clicking on open data folder. Once you click on open data folder, you will go to MQL file. And then after that, you will go to indicators. You will right click and then after that, you will click on paste. Now, once you end up clicking on paste, for some of these indicators, they have to be compiled. What you go from there and do is basically right click and then click on open. Once you click on open, what you will end up seeing is the indicator actually showed up from there. You will end up clicking on compile. You will look down low to see if there's any type of warnings. In this case, there's no warning. So from there, what you can do is be able to exit off the chart, exit off the indicator window, and then from there on your navigator button, you will end up basically right clicking and then clicking on refresh. Now, once you click on refresh, uh, what should happen uh, in a little bit of time, you will end up seeing that uh, this indicator will be placed in. Sometimes you have to scroll down for it, but typically it'll be basically somewhere around the examples portion of this window. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click onto this window. Once you double click onto the window, then after that you have all the settings and everything else like that, that you can be able to change and be able to modify, right? So I'm gonna click on okay. At first, I have this as a deep sky blue and the other default setting for that beige color. Let's say if I don't necessarily like that, I can be able to double click onto it. And let's say if I wanted to be able to change this to green, um, I can be able to click on green. And let's say if I wanted to be able to change this to red, I can be able to click on red uh, and be able to change the indicators. Depending on the indicator that you have, there's other things that you can be able to add onto it, like a smooth moving average or anything else like that. You can be able to change the settings to your liking and then after that, click on OK. Once you click on OK, you have the indicator on your screen, and then after that, you can be able to use it for your overall pleasure. Hopefully, this video ends up helping you out when it comes down to being able to download uh, the indicators from the server file.